Peace, peace, family. So I'm back with another one. So today what I wanted to do is I wanted to dive in as far as the spiritual meaning behind ADHD or for some of us growing up, it was ADD, you know, attention deficit disorder or attention deficit hyper disorder. You know what I'm saying? And growing up, it was ADA, it was ADD for me and the ones that was around me. They didn't put the H in there quite yet. Um, and I think the H probably wasn't quite in there yet because they hadn't had enough time to drug us up yet with all the sugar yet. Like we was the big generation of all the candies and all the different sugar, which I call crack. They just put in everything. They put crack in everything. But um, ADHD is, you know, uh, the spiritual meaning, because I, I don't want to dive in too much into their medical terms, uh, just for the simple fact that they, that shit is huge on the tube. Like, you have to be very mindful about their medical information, you know what I'm saying? But as far as the spiritual meaning and the breakdown of ADHD, um, I guess between the situation I had with my brother and a couple people asking, um, you know, just give a more in-depth breakdown of it spiritually... I've been, you know, raised with my brother here, a year younger than me. That's this one on this side. He's a year younger than me. And I never viewed my brother as having any kind of attention deficit disorder. You know, um, from us being kids in the house, ripping and running, to being outside, to like, he was one of the most artistic drawers I've ever seen before. You know what I'm saying? Like, as far as like super detailed, Dragon Ball Z characters, you know, like crazy Pokemon characters, just all kind of all them anime characters, which are really detailed. He can draw them almost to the T. You know what I'm saying? And what he does now is he's more of a bodybuilder, personal trainer, which means that you have to be able to hold your attention in order to teach and lead other people, no matter which direction it's in. You know, and ADHD for me, which I understand on a much deeper level, it was just another means for them to slow us down and to turn us into zombies, you know, because a lot of my buddies that I knew that was taking their drugs that they was giving them because they thought that I ain't going to say they thought what happened was the, the the acronym and the name itself is the spell. That's the spell they cast on you, right? And then when you go get the medication, that's the potion. So if you ever notice in most witchy movies and they shit and they show, they always got some seance that they say, and then they have some kind of physical object to kind of correlate it together. Somebody's mixing a potion, or somebody has some kind of doll, or somebody has a piece of this or a piece of that. It it, it binds the spell together a lot stronger. So, if you are someone who is like, most of us are born free, right? I know it's so simple to say. The only thing you are a slave to, which I don't even like using that word, because I feel like we come here by choice. Um, as far as your families, I, I don't think that's by choice. As far as when you come through, I feel like that is by choice. Um... But nobody knows. That's all, you know, here nor there. That's like asking what came first, the chicken or the egg. But if you are a high-spirited being, you know, a high-energetic being, the smartest thing to do if I want to rule the world is to slow these motherfuckers down. So what better way to do it than to tell you, hey, here's a test right here, and here's your Legos right here. I saw you build a beautiful house with these Legos, right? But because you cannot focus your energy or care enough about this test, I'm going to say you have a, a attention deficit disorder. I never took that shit serious. Anybody I dealt with in real life that had ADD or ADHD, like, they were still fully functioning human beings. Now, whether they was on the witchy side or not, 
uh, that is up for say, you know. But as far as like their functioning and how they operate as a spiritual being having a human experience, they functioned enough that they didn't have to go to a crazy house. We all know that the crazy houses is where people go that just don't want to fuck with this Western world. You wouldn't have to go to a crazy house if there wasn't this system keeping everybody in place the way it does. ADHD, their, their shit that they give out, that's to help make better obedient slaves. You gotta think about it though, like, even even my bro, he would try to make it seem like he had attention deficit disorders, like, outside of school. But it, but when you honestly dive in and think about it, that's, you, you're not gonna give two fucks about anything you don't really want to put your energy into. So then they cast a spell on you, hey, you have an attention deficit order because you're doing something that I said you should do, but I know your spirit doesn't want to do it. But you see, all the other kids are being good slaves and doing it. So since you're not following in line, we're going to say you have a problem. It doesn't work that way in the real world, not when you follow in the natural flow of life. You know what I'm saying? And you can think of other cultures outside of the Western world that doesn't have to deal with somebody saying, okay, well... Here's my structure. Here's life for you to live. You're not following the structure the way I set it up. So now I'm going to have to drop a spell on you to get you to be more obedient. So now my brother is in his 30s still complaining on Facebook about having something that's not real. Something that's not real to me when I see it in here. It's like somebody complained like man. Yeah uh, uh, My unicorn ran away. I'm like <laughs> That's how in depth and deep these spells are and I never allowed them to place that kind of shit on me And when people come around and, or, or some buddies I went to school with saying that they got it and then they show me the prescription all that shit. I just be thinking I used to want to say out loud like nigga Ain't nothing to fuck wrong with you. A couple of them I did say that shit to, but for the most part, I didn't have the same information. And then when you're younger, you think that the medical people know real shit. They are just really good magicians and they are great at casting spells. So they extort you for your talents, you know? That's the bad part and the worst part about all of this shit is you get extorted for your spiritual talents and abilities. So you might be really nice at healing people and working on bodies and doing all of that shit you know what i'm saying but they're going to extort you for that they are going to extort you for that and they're gonna make you cast these spells on to the rest of the damn community and to the rest of the world that's at least operating in the western world you know what i'm saying you cannot let their spells get a hold on you like you i'm pretty sure you can think of a lot of shit that you wanted to do that you was able to focus your energy on. Most of it happens is when somebody else is telling you to do something. Like, school would be hand in hand with the job. Oh, you feel like you can't hold your attention at the job? That's because you don't give a fuck about the job. You're just working it for the check. If you had that check coming without the job, you would not be going to the job. It's just that simple. Some of us do things that we love, you know. What, what I was watching the other day, it's a quick clip of one dog and it was mad sheep. It was probably like over a hundred sheep. And they all just stood at this invisible spiritual line while the dog was just right here just chilling. Not even really paying them any mind, kind of had his back to him. And then the dog just kind of turned around and started looking. And then he started walking. And then the rest of the sheep started walking. We are, if we're all connected, right? That, that means we have to understand that everybody isn't a leader. There are sheep out here that are following. So it's our job to make sure we have enough great leaders and better leaders operating with the natural flow of life to guide the sheep. Because the sheep are the ones who's not doing the ill intention shit. And that's what I'm probably going to switch them over to. The sheep, just because it just sounds softer, subtle on the energy vibration. But the sheep are the ones that's not running around doing witchy ill intentional shit. They're just doing the regular witchy shit, just operate and following the natural flow of the Western world that's structured to fucking divide and conquer. You know, those are the ones that, that are called, quote unquote, good citizens, law abiding citizens. These are the sheep, you know, 
you don't expect them to think for themselves you have to think and move for them the dog was thinking and moving for the sheep ADD wasn't even a thing before my generation so why all of a sudden now within the 30 years they start casting these spells 40 years 50 years however long but it ain't been over 60 years okay that they've been casting this spell why are we not informed that this shit is not real that's because you have to do the due diligence yourself if you don't have elders around you that know this kind of information or that's even fighting a good fight because some of them have the information they just not fighting a good fight to share the information the shit is not real it's not real and if some people are brainwashed to believe it cool you know what i'm saying there's always casualties in war there's always casualties in war like that is just part of the life cycle you gotta think about it if you have to fight for your friends and loved ones why the fuck would you think you don't have to fight for your freedom and for to to be free spiritually why would you think you're not gonna have to fight for that you know ADAD and ADHD has not been around that long for this spell to have as much power as it does. So when somebody says, or if you are being who was claimed to have ADHD or ADD, you know, think about what it was or time travel back to that space when they quote unquote diagnosed you or spiritually just time travel in your space and see what the fuck it is that you feel like you have an attention deficit disorder on because i guarantee you almost 10 times out of 10 it's going to be something that you're being forced to do that's always going to be the process even if you have shit that you want to do and you're just not doing it that don't mean you have attention deficit disorder that just means you have something else that's more important that you're giving your energy to don't allow this matrix to keep casting these spells on you you know you don't have to believe it. anything or anytime i hear some news or information from the system i automatically put a question mark on it i never take it for face value or what it really is now i may have to spiritually travel in that space for a few hours or a few days before i'll be like okay they finally actually did put some real shit out there that's because it's really hurting people so they put real information out there but anything that's helping they're not really gonna put out there and even with some of the fake shit that's or some of the shit that's hurting people a lot of it is false propaganda and it's just to make it seem like it we're not actually in these places and spaces when we see in these videos of all this shit going on and happening you know what i'm saying but i ain't want to run it up too long you know what i'm saying adhd and add is a spell it is a witchy witch spell and once you take their potion, when you go see them, because they give you a little potion, it's like the size of this when you go see them. You know what I'm saying? And they'll put it in these little bottles, these brown capsule bottles. You know what I'm saying? And then they want you to dose yourself. Don't be a sheep. You know what I'm saying? Don't be a zombie-fied robot out here. You know what I'm saying? If you are a sheep find a great hound dog and a leader to fucking follow so he don't lead you off the cliff you know what i'm saying tapping everything down below peace and love to the kings and queens